I am Dr. Sharjeen and today I am presenting you this 25 years old male patient presented to me with decreased vision. His vision was counting finger both eyes. And now I am showing different signs of this disease and I diagnosed him as a case of keratoconus. Keratoconus is a type of corneal ectasia. Corneal ectasia means thinning of the cornea and keratoconus uh, as the name says it is a cone like protrusion of the cornea with central or paracentral thinning and irregular astigmatism so in this patient uh, i am sh i would like to show you different signs of uh, keratoconus you can clearly see from the side view that he has got a bulging of the cornea apical conical protrusion and now here you can see bulging of the lower eyelid in down gaze now this sign is known as Munson sign when a person looks in the downward gaze there is a conical or triangular shaped depression of the lower eyelid so that is known as Munson sign and now when the patient looks, uh, when you put the light uh, from the side of the eye, the whole conical area illuminates. The whole cone illuminates. Here we are showing you Munson sign in the left eye. So that sign, when you put the light from the side of the eye, and uh, the illumination of the whole conical area like here we are showing you the whole cone is illuminated and that sign is called Rizzuti sign you will never see such a beautiful Rizzuti sign yes here you can see the whole thinned area is illuminated just like a crystal that's so that's the whole thinned area that's that's the whole thinned area so that's the Rizzuti sign keratoconus is divided into mild moderate or severe keratoconus upon the power of keratometry if the corneal power is less than 48 it is mild keratoconus if it is between 48 to 54 diopters it is moderate and more than 54 diopter is severe so this patient had got severe bilateral severe keratoconus now on the slit lamp examination I observed unusually very deep anterior chamber it's also one of the important sign that sometimes the other signs are not uh, very obvious but the patient had unusually deep anterior chamber so when you encounter unusually deep anterior chamber you should think of keratoconus and now here you can see the corneal scarring so that corneal scar shows that the patient had episode of acute high drops in the past acute high drops is caused by a rupture in the stretched decimates membrane that allows a sudden influx of aqueous into the cornea with pain decreased vision photophobia the breaks heal within 6 to 10 weeks edema clears with variable amount of stromal scarring so in both eyes you can see in the inferior nasal area there is a corneal opacity that shows the o episodes of acute high drops so this patient had corneal scars of acute hydrops positive Munson sign Rizzuti sign unusually deep anterior chamber and there are other signs as well epithelial iron deposits best seen with cobalt blue filter surrounds the base of the cone that is called Fletcher ring and now here we are showing a, a very fine 
vertical deep stromal stress lines these are walked stria you can see these vertical lines they disappear with pressure on the globe so these are the walked stria you can here see clearly see these vertical lines in the center of the pupil these are the walked stria stromal stress lines they are also called stromal stress lines and now on the direct ophthalmoscopy from a distance of half meter a fairly well delineated oil droplet sign so oil droplet sign on direct ophthalmoscopy that's the oil droplet sign and now on retinoscopy you will show irregular reflex you can see the while we are moving the slit horizontally streak horizontally but the reflex is moving little bit up and down so that is known as a scissor reflex so scissor reflex on retinoscopy that is also specific for keratoconus it shows irregular astigmatism keratometry readings are very steep it's in this patient it was more than 60 diopters and uh, the treatments are spectacles hard contact lenses then corneal cross linkages and at the end keratoplasty like in this patient with acute high drops corneal opacities now here you can also see a very steep central cone on keratometry and on keratometry on autoref we got 20 diopters refractive errors minus 20 diopters refractive error so in this patient uh, there were corneal scars so the management for improvement is keratoplasty lamellar keratoplasty especially so these were the signs of keratoconus thank you very much